So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 Custom YouTube channel. I'm your host as always, Jeffman 316, your pop culture reporter. And as you can see, I got the background all green for you. You know what that means? This is the Dollar Tree video that I promised you at the end of the last video. Um, that was the search in the store and we got a mega haul. There was three bags. Well, I condensed them down to where I got a bag of DVDs and a bag of Blu-rays. So uh, I'm gonna show you those in this video. So before we do that, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff, then hit the notification bell on your way out the door. You'll be the first to know when I post new videos. So what are we waiting for? Let's go over. I'm gonna pull out all the movies in these bags and you're gonna see what I got in this mega haul. Let's go. So hey YouTube, here we are over at uh, what's normally the toy table, and I figured I'd go ahead and do it here, um, show you the haul. So the first movie we got there is Seven Killer Movies, Kung Fu uh, Zombies. How do you? It says, um, how do you kill something that's already dead? So I'll let you know the movies that are in this set: Shaolin vs. Evil Dead, Shaolin vs. Evil Dead 2, Kung Fu Zombie, We're Going to Eat You. Spirity Killer 2, Spirity Killer 3, Kung Fu from Beyond the Grave. I've never seen any of these, and I thought it would be a hoot to watch those, so I'm sure most of them are going to be cheesy. Um, the next one is an actual Shutter title. So, finally. Yeah, finally, Jeff Band 316 has found some Shutter titles. Um, Monstrum, and this is with a slipcover. So, I've had to trade for my... Um, shutter title so far so i haven't seen this movie has anybody seen that one looks pretty good the next one is the scientist there is no cure for the undead um i like the cover look at there there's the back cover looks like it might be some sort of found footage so that should be very interesting the next one is a killer next door um I'm, like i said another movie i've never heard of so at least they got some good titles as far as a mix of ones i've never heard of the true story of john list it says the quieter the street the darker the secret who's watching who so that looks fairly interesting um, here's one from our good old Echo Bridge friends. Shimmer, a light so bright it kills on sight. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Never seen this one. I don't remember seeing this one in stores. Like usually these pop up in Walmart. I don't remember seeing seeing that one in there. What about you guys? Here's one of our cool um, Echo Bridge multi titles. The main movie is Double Echo. They have nothing left to lose. And the bonus movies are All Things to All Men and Heist. So, um, three movies for buck twenty-five. Yeah, I'll take that all day. Hopefully, one of the three of these are good. Um, the next one is Blood Immortal. Innocent dies, they don't. So, assuming this is a vampire flick. I'm usually not that big on vampire movies, but I'll give it a chance. I'm more of a... Um, werewolf type nuns echo bridge deadly confession nuns the cover's cool do you feel like that's the case with most of these echo bridge they spend all their time and effort on the covers and not on the actual movies themselves this is a movie i own on blu-ray panic but a lot of people requested either i trade or pick it up for them. So I got an extra copy on DVD. Um, this is the DVD, obviously, of the slip cover says Panic. If you're not aware, that's the Walmart edited cover. The true movie is called Satanic Panic. It's actually listed right there. So it's got special features making of a um, couple featurettes, it looks like. I've seen this movie, it's actually pretty good. So pick this up or Reach out to me if you don't can't find it and you want to trade. Um, 
the dead don't die in Dallas. We, uh, Willem Belly. I'm sure that's not Willem Belly on the front, is it? I don't recognize who that is. We're all going to hell. Couldn't tell you. The name and the covers what got me. So here's a movie called Run. It says DVD and digital. I'll go ahead and tell you, most of, if this is Echo Bridge, most of their digitals are only um, for their site, their service. You don't, you can't do it on Voodoo or anything. It's got Stephen Baldwin in it. Come on, man. It's got to be great. Look at that. Yeah, so their service is where you got to redeem it. I think what is it? it used to be called Spree or something like that. I'm not sure what it's called now. Widow's Point. Their ghosts are waiting here. I've never heard of that. It's got Craig Schaefer in it. So, you know, back in the day, I think he was in what, Nightbreed. There he is. Yeah, I don't haven't seen him much. It's got alternate takes, audio commentary, behind the scenes, deleted scenes. So it's got some special features. So they put some effort into making this title. So maybe it'll be pretty good. Um, the next one, Penance. It says Tony Todd, Michael Rooker. Yeah, I bet those people are in it for like 10 minutes. The cover right there with the chicks on it. It's probably going to be the best part. A film by Jake Kennedy. Am I supposed to know who that is? I'm sorry if it's... I don't recognize it. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. So we'll check it out. Here's one, a title I've been looking for. It's a multi-title collection. Five driving classics on two DVDs. It's the Roger Corman collection. I know a lot of people had already found this and I never did. Little Shop of Horrors, The Terror, Dementia 13. She Gods of Shark Reef and Swamp Women. So I was looking for decent copies of a couple of these. I think several of these, at least Little Shop of Horrors is public domain. I think the rest of them, if they're not, you see them all over the public domain. Devil's Revenge. Come on now. It's got freaking William Shatner. And that's Jason Brooks. I'm assuming that's the Jason Brooks that's, um, is that the guy who... Um, I've met online as far as through um, done fan films and stuff like uh, my good old buddy um, Peter Anthony and the Roseblood, a Friday 13th fan film. But it's also got Jerry Ryan in it, who's known as uh, Seven of Line from Star Trek Next Generation. So not Star Trek Next Generation. Um, was she Voyager? Sorry. So, hey, I mean, that can't be but so bad, right? Yeah, right. All right, now, I've already heard bad things about this one. People saw me pick this up in the store, and I did buy it just for the cover, and I'm a big fan of these cheesy Scarecrow movies. <laughs> one of my viewers who saw me uh, holding it in the in the search video said that uh, they watched it. There, I think they said they watched it for the first 20 minutes with their wife, and they turned the damn thing off. So, oh, well, um, that's not giving me too much hope, but radio flash and i think i remember seeing this on the shelves at walmart at one time it's an ifc film by shout factory so um i thought i'd give us a, a try so i'm gonna buy any shout factory screen factory movies that i see in um walmart i mean they used to be i saw in walmart but are now in the dollar tree so oops sorry um high moon I mean, Sean Patrick Flannery, I recognize, but I thought the cover was really cool there. The sun, do you guys sometimes buy these things because of the cover artwork? So that's cool. I only got a few more DVDs. Um, I think this might be the last horror. Sanitarium. Malcolm McDowell, Lou Diamond Phillips, Robin England, Lacey Chabert. Or is that, how do you pronounce her name? But either way, I guarantee most of those people are not even in this movie that long. We'll see. I mean, they got their photos on the back. How do you pronounce her name? I don't know. Um, this is a movie that I've seen that I really liked and I wanted to put it in the collection. Stan and Ollie. It's obviously about um, Laurel and Hardy. It's a m movie about their life. So it's got um, John C. Riley and uh, Steve Coogan. I love both of those guys. They're good. Um, I've seen this movie. Didn't own it. So... Uh, 
it's got a lot of special features on there too so i recommend if you see this pick this up it's a really good movie um some one of you recommended this so since i didn't pick it up before pottersville they said you one of you guys told me it was really good so i'm gonna check it out it's for my friend at echo bridge but um obviously christmas is over but during one of my ho uh, december or january videos um you guys saw me pick it up and i didn't buy it um i bought this one to be funny for myself because i used to love the count that was my favorite character on sesame street so it's a magical halloween adventure and the counts on the front so we got one one ha, 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 one sesame street dvd Whoa, ha, ha. so that's cool and then the last one is another cartoon it's a uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles the next mutation volume one i don't own any of these on blu-ray that i know of it's a two disc set it's got the first 13 episodes so i thought that was cool so that was all of the DVDs that I got. And so give me one second. I'm going to grab the bag of Blu-rays. So we're going to stay in the animated sector here and we're going to go with Digimon Determination. So um, I've never watched any Digimon stuff, but there's somebody I work with who watches it and he says that some of it's pretty good. So it says original Japanese language track. These are from Shout Factory. Um, I look behind the scenes directing the voice cast. So um, that one might be interesting. So the next one is a Digimon Adventure uh, Reunion. Blu-ray and DVD. The other one was Blu-ray and DVD, just so you know. These are from our friends at Shout as well. So, um, and that's not it. We got the trifecta. We got Digimon Adventures, Coexistence, Blu-ray and DVD set. So I'll check out some of that stuff. If I don't like it, hey, I know I can get more than three bucks for those. Another anime title, Blu-ray DVD, Liz and the Bluebird. I just, I thought the cover artwork was pretty spectacular there with that artwork in the background. This is from Shout Studios as well. One of the most beautiful works of art I've experienced in years. So um, I figured like, it would be that it would look good. Um, Sound Euphor Euphonium, the movie. I promise a brand new day. Man, they have some damn good cover artwork as far as the, um, on some of this anime stuff. Yep, shout again. And I think it's one last anime title, Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. Somebody recommended this, told me it was really good. Um, it's got bonus features on it too. So either way, so that's all your anime you're going to be seeing in this video so here's a another horror title from our friends at um, echo bridge so bean and who's in that lance hendrickson robert john burke it, it, didn't he play in thinner um i don't know most of the rest of the cast but that looks pretty interesting to me yeah that's the guy from thinner right there Got Dauntless, The Battle of Midway. It's got Judd Nelson and C. Thomas Howell in there. Um, this is Shout Studio, so I thought it might be pretty decent. I'll give it a watch. Um, somebody recommended this movie to me right here. The Sonata's got Rutger Hauer in it. It says Magnificently Haunting. Um, a while back, somebody recommended me uh, this movie to me. Told me I might like it, so now I actually get to check it out. Uh, Rendell Dark Vengeance. I got this on DVD, I think, a long time ago. So this is more of an upgrade. And A Desperate Time and Avenger Will Rise. So that's Shout as well. So quite a few Shout Factory titles. Um, here's a title that I wasn't expecting to find. Planet of the Dead, a BBC um, Doctor Who from the David Tennant years with Michelle Ryan in it as well. It's got a 60-minute special feature section behind there. And then the last title is The Postcard Killers. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Famke Jansen, is that how you pronounce her name? 
Um, I'm a big fan of Jeffrey Dean Morgan, mainly from um, the, uh, shit, what was the name of the movie? Um, the Losers. You thought I was going to say Negan from Lock, Walk, and Dead, but I like him there too, but The Losers is a very underrated movie. You should check it out. So I know some of you guys were, somebody asked me, did I need the postcard killings? And no, I was able to pick that up. So um, what do you guys think of the DVD? And here's some of them spinning around here. The DVD Blu-ray haul that I had this time. Um, quite a few titles. I'm going to consider that basically a mega haul. Um, a lot of good ones. I'll have a lot of stuff to watch. And I've been searching more stores, and I know the next store that I went into had quite a few of the same titles. But hey, I'm going to keep looking because I know you guys enjoy the content. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And so I got some um, other footage from other stores that I did record, but this was the, the big one. So I wanted to divide this up. It'll be easy for you guys to digest. So like I said, keep supporting the channel, and I'll keep making content. Um, I love you guys. Um, hopefully I'll have another video that will post soon, uh, maybe one or two more this week. So um, until next time, boys and girls, this is Jeffman316, your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there.